while I was in the Army, I was division ammunition officer for Fourth Armory, and I had a trailer. And we had coffee 24 hours. And you just got to drink and coffee. And that's what it is in the Army. When I got out, I worked with my, my dad for a while. I got married. I had the concession in, the United, in Mexico providing two-way radio service for the government. That was my expertise. And I lost my wife in 06. I sold my business. I had a lot of money. What am I going to do with it? So I opened this up. I went to the conventions, learned how to roast, and met all the people, and uh, ordered all this stuff. And this is state of the art. We're importing coffee from the countries. Originally, we do not modify the, the coffee. We don't add any blends. In other words, when you buy the Colombian, it's 100% Colombian, or Brazil, or Peru, Peru, or Costa Rica. And that's what we have. And you learn to taste the different countries. It's the same coffee bean, but it has a different flavor due to the climates and the, and the shadow and all that other stuff to it. I don't work. I just sit down and enjoy life. See him, that's who I named it after. They took me over to, uh, to, to the Middle East, and it was a fixed marriage. I didn't even know her. That's right, I didn't even talk to her. We got married. We traveled, my wife and I are very fortunate, traveled to Belgium and all that, a lot of European coffee. And they drink it straight in a fresh press. We love it. And that's what I like. Yeah. I just love coffee. Why, how in the world can you go wrong if you give somebody fresh roasted coffee?